With more people and conventions now making a home in Denver, the hospitality industry is booming. That's brought another industry, the sex trade. It finds a home in all types of hotels. CBS4's Jennifer Bryce sat down with a former madam, now working to educate hospitality staff about what to look for. You may not know Pasha Ripley, but you might remember the scandal she was part of back in the early 2000s. Ripley, a former Boulder based madam, testified to a grand jury about providing prostitutes for CU football recruits. I thought it was going to be discreet, and I, I didn't realize what a big deal this would turn into. The scandal rocked the community, bringing changes to the university and its football program. The grand jury, of course, they had questions about CU and the business that relationship that we had there. Ripley worked in the sex trade for 15 years. At times, she worked as an escort and ran her own service. I kept the business very small, very low key. Ripley's client list, she says, was exclusively men. She knows there will be some former clients nervous to see her doing this interview. Construction workers, all the way up to, of course, police officers, um, magistrates, doctors, lawyers. Ripley says it's not usually the actual services that clients would pay for, but rather the privacy. Uh, ability to walk away and not have to call the next day, not have to send flowers, not have to enter into any sort of relationship. Ripley no longer works in the sex trade. She runs a nonprofit, Red Light Resources International, an anti human trafficking organization that specifically works to educate hospitality staff about sex and labor trafficking. Rather than yell at them and kick them out of the hotel, maybe you slide a business card across the counter. She says the sex trade is alive everywhere in every kind of hotel. I used to have a deal with their head housekeeper. In exchange, I could use that room to see clients. Ripley says many hotels know the sex trade is happening there, some of the employees even profiting from it. Oftentimes the manager or owner of the hotel will either what they call up the rack rate, and so they will up the rate of the room so that they make more money. Ripley trains hospitality staff to spot the signs of trafficking, rooms paid for in cash, one day at a time, new guests coming and going from the room, especially men, continuous refusal of housekeeping and the do not disturb sign up for days. Ripley believes as more people move and visit Denver, even hold conventions here, it will only grow the oldest profession around. It's never going to go away. So what can we do? What steps can we take to make it safe for everyone involved? Jennifer Bryce, CBS4 News.